EastEnders' Charlie Brooks, famed for Janine Butcher, jests about a typecasting after landing child catcher role in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang production. She anticipates a fun challenge, admitting similarities between characters. Brooks expresses excitement about her first singing role, teasing costume details. Meanwhile, EastEnders' storyline unfolds as Sharon's arrest brings unexpected twists. Charlie Brooks of EastEnders makes a joke about being a typecast in his eerie new role. The child catcher in a production of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang is portrayed by Janine Butcher. What was it that you overlooked? Charlie Brooks, an actress from EastEnders, made a joke about being typecast after landing the child catcher part in a Chitty Chitty Bang Bang play. The actor is well-renowned for her portrayal as the BBC soap opera's villain Janine Butcher from Albert Square, which she has alternated between 1999 and 2000. However, she will now play the eerie child catcher in a stage production of the 1968 movie that will tour. On Monday, April 8, Brooks appeared on The One Show and said it would be really fun, but he also made fun of the similarities between Janine and the child catcher. Why, what, and how? After pointing out that the actor was playing a scary role, host Jermaine Jenna's chuckled and said, not dissimilar really. There's a little bit of typecasting here, she continued. Brooks continued, saying, I guess I'm going to be the first woman to portray the child catcher, so I thought this sounded extremely interesting when I talked to the director about it. It's a brilliant idea, in my opinion. I've just recently arrived to rehearsals, so I'm not exactly sure what it will be yet, but it feels like I've got. We are still in the exploring phase, but it sounds like a lot of fun. I compare it to a block of clay that you start sort of shaping, and I've just started chipping away. Brooks, who co-starred with Adam Garcia in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang on the BBC show, revealed that she had taken a glance at her outfit. It's evil, she declared. It's really enjoyable. The actress also revealed that this will be her first time singing in a production. She joked, God help me and God help the audience. What do you know? On Thursday, I was thrown into the deep end and had an hour-long singing session with the musical director, who was incredibly helpful and intelligent. I had the best time in that hour, despite my fear of it. Oh my god, you're going to have to hold me back, I thought to myself. What else was said by Charlie Brooks? Hallelujah, exclaim EastEnders fans, as the six announce a incredible a plan in the wake of Sharon Watts' arrest. Sharon Watts is still being held by the police in this mind-boggling development for the six that has been revealed on EastEnders. After Keanu Taylor's body was discovered buried in the cafe, the blonde bombshell was taken into custody and charged with his murder. While she was being examined by coppers, Johnny Carter spoke on her behalf, but he found it difficult to clear Sharon's name. Johnny was subsequently informed by Kathy Cotton, Suki Panasar, and Stacy Slater upon his return to Walford that the meat thermometer is being held as a backup in case they need to use it against killer Linda Carter. In the most recent episode of the BBC One soap opera, landlady Linda from Queen Vic was horrified to find out that three out of the six may betray her, even if Johnny had vowed to clear Sharon of the murder charge. However, as Linda's actions were out of control, she had a heart-to-heart -heart with George Knight, whose counsel unintentionally assisted Linda in making the decision to turn herself in to the authorities. While Linda called them all to the Vic to explain that she was going to confess to killing Keanu at Christmas, and while Johnny was revealing that Sharon would be staying in detention for at least another day, Denise Fox was having difficulty understanding the most recent plot. Johnny exposed the flaws in his mother's plan to exclude the others from her confession, and he was incensed that she intended to hold her hands up to Keanu's death. But Linda would not give up, demanding that the six surrender the weapon before secretly bidding Ollie and Annie, the younger children, farewell. However, the day took an unexpected turn when Linda's intentions were discussed outdoors by Stacy and Johnny. When Harvey Monroe revealed that Dean Wicks had tampered with his daughter Jade Masood's medication, the two stepped in, and Linda quickly arrived to voice her own displeasure at her rapist. Spoilers for EastEnders, Jay will become a father when Nadine arrives and confesses her pregnancy. Jay's past resurfaces to trouble him. EastEnders spoilers for next week indicate that Jay finds out he's going to become a father when Nadine comes back. And informs him that she is expecting his child. Jay first connected with sex worker Nadine following Lola's passing. He became close to Nadine after falling into a drug-addled, depressive spiral and mental illness. 
since then, Jay has changed his behavior. However, it seems that there were repercussions from his time spent with Nadine. When Jay breaks the news to his family, how will they respond? See our comprehensive EastEnders spoilers for this story below. Spoilers for EastEnders, Jay is taken aback when Nadine confesses her pregnancy. Honey and Jay are getting psyched for their marathon this week as they start gathering their numbers for the big day. But Jay is in for a surprise when he receives a voicemail from Nadine informing him that she must see him right away. Gina receives Jay's message, which he ignores. Gina suggests that she ask Nadine what she wants. Nadine tells him she is expecting his child when they first meet. Jay is so shocked by this terrible revelation that he runs off. What is his next move? Jay finds it difficult to process the shocking pregnancy news. Shell-shocked Jay finds it difficult to accept that Nadine is expecting. She tells him why she didn't inform him sooner because she is upset that he is still sticking his head in the sand. Gina advises Jay to get in touch with his family right now. Jay gets Billy, Honey, and Callum together at home before breaking the news to them. What will their response be to Jay's shocking pregnancy news? As Nadine makes a comeback, EastEnders confirms Jay Brown's baby story. His entire existence is upside down, spoilers for EastEnders ahead. With Nadine Keller's reappearance, EastEnders has unearthed fresh information on a significant baby tale for Jay Brown. Jazzy Phoenix has already confirmed to Digital Spy that she was reprising her role as Nadine for future scenes with Jay Brown. When Jay was still in mourning for his late wife Lola, in September and October of last year, Nadine made an appearance on the show. Nadine's similarity to Lola made Jay feel a connection with her, but his family members were worried. Jay hasn't spoken to Nadine since the fall of last year, but when she unexpectedly gets in touch with him the following week, everything in his life will change. While Jay and Honey are eager to receive their marathon numbers, Jay is taken aback when he gets a voicemail from Nadine informing him that she must meet him immediately. Instead of responding to Nadine right away, Jay confides in Gina Knight, who counsels him to ascertain Nadine's desires. Nadine shocks everyone by revealing that she is expecting Jay's child when they first meet. Jay runs out, understandably overwhelmed, and later finds it difficult to take in the news that Nadine is expecting. Jay's response infuriates Nadine, who accuses him of burying his head in the sand and says that's why she delayed telling him. Confusion-stricken, Jay turns back to Gina, who advises him to inform his family as quickly as possible. Jay gathers Billy, Callum, and Honey to break the news, but what will happen when they hear it? Colin Salmon, who plays George Knight in EastEnders, has a well-known wife and appears young for a James Bond part. Colin Salmon was starring alongside 007 on our TVs a long time before they came to Walford. Ever since he first appeared on screen as George Knight last year, actor Colin Salmon has won over the hearts of EastEnders viewers. George's life has collapsed twice since he and his two girls arrived to the square. Nine years after Rose abruptly vanished, the former professional boxer was shocked to see his estranged wife in Walford. The mother of George's children is Cindy Beale, who disclosed that she had been placed under witness protection following her fake death 25 years prior. She isn't even known by that name. George was also dealt another devastating blow when his adoptive parents, Gloria and Eddie, revealed that he was adopted through a practice known as farming when they arrived in Walford. George has been charged with historical murder after learning later how Eddie killed his biological father. In a short period of time, Colin Salmon has had a significant impact on the BBC show as George, nevertheless, this is not surprising considering the soap actor is also a major motion picture star. The 62-year-old, who was born in Bethnal Green, is a true East End boy. Prior to starring in Lovejoy, he began his acting career in the early 1990s and as D.S. Robert Oswald in two episodes of Prime Suspect 2 in 1992. Colin moved into feature films after he was cast as Sergeant Dennis Ryan in Soldier Soldier and found popularity. Die Another Day, Tomorrow Never Dies, and The World Is Not Enough are the three Bond films in which he made appearances. Colin played Charles Robinson, the deputy chief of staff at MI6 in the hit films. Colin has carved out a very successful acting career for himself over the last 30 years, appearing in numerous hit television shows, such as Doctor Who, Midsummer Murders, Silent Witness, 24, Live Another Day, Law and Order UK, Death in Paradise, and Judge John Deed, among many others. 
Among the movies in which he has appeared are London Has Fallen, Resident Evil, and Blood, The Last Vampire. Colin co-starred alongside professional dancer Christina Rihanoff in the tenth season of Strictly Come Dancing. In week five, he faced off against Richard Arnold in a dance-off that ended in his elimination. Family Dynamics Fiona Hawthorne, an artist, and Colin have been married since 1988. Together, they have four children, Sasha, Ben, Eden, and Rudy. According to her official website, Fiona was born in Northern Ireland, raised in Hong Kong, and currently splits her time between London and New York. Fiona has exhibited her delicate drawings in a solo show at the Royal Festival Hall, the Tea Rooms at Harrods, and the Pages of Tatler. Her computerized image of Barack Obama is on display at the Library of Congress. Nonetheless, Colin disclosed last year that his wife's illness was the reason he can't be far from home while discussing his reasons for joining EastEnders. At an EastEnders event, Colin spoke with OK and said that his wife's health issues played a part in his decision to accept the soap opera job. Colin responded, My wife's not well so I can't be far from home and so the universe has brought something quite extraordinary and my agent said, I think you should talk to Chris, in response to the question of what drew him to the serial opera. Chris had a vision, was progressive, clear, enthusiastic, and had an unmistakable love for the show. With the audience members. That, in my opinion, is a requirement for any employment. Simply put, I enjoy working with enthusiastic people because we give it our all. The rule is that when we jump, we jump. Thus to have someone like that directing us. It is quite significant. Two years ago, Fiona, Colin's wife, had a rare lung condition diagnosis of interstitial lung disease, which required her to rely on an oxygen tank. Please subscribe our channel.